see nothing like it. <laughs> What's up, happy people? Last night we were sitting at a campfire and heard there was a good bite in Louisiana. We're heading that way. I called my buddy Ron Price from the Fish Intimidator Lodge and he said, you got a place to stay. So we hooked up to the boat and we are pulling out, y'all. First stop, we got to go to fishing headquarters and pick up about 100 pounds of sardines. Then, north. Bring me back a piece of tuna fish. You got it. I like the real red one. <laughs> Starting route to Fish Intimidator. Head west on Yacht Club Drive, then turn right onto North Highway A1A Alternate. Trips in general, it's about the journey. Catching a fish, hopefully we can, but th this is a journey and we own it. I'm so stoked. This is Mobile, Alabama. We're on the west side of Mobile Bay. These big marshes are so beautiful to me. Just. It just screams trout, redfish, flounder, shrimp, happy people! Pretty amazing to see the sun going down right there. We're 124 miles from the lodge, and when the sun comes up, Lord willing, we will be on our way offshore. 5.34 a.m. We're headed to the boat ramp. Now, one big thing we're contending with today is fog. So we gotta really pay attention and take our time getting out there. No reason to be in a huge rush. So right here's where it all happens, y'all. This is Venice Marina. The fog is really, really thick, and I do not have a radar on this boat. So we're gonna follow one of the other boats out and uh, Try to just take our time, get out to the fishing grounds. This fella over here, it's River Inn Outfitters, 39 Contender. He's got radar. And so what I'm gonna do is follow him out. We'll just stay back, keep a good safe distance so that if he has to stop, it gives us time to stop. It's not a rush to get there. We just gotta get there safe. Gonna be northbound Tiger Pass. A lot of traffic behind me too. All I can tell you guys is, if I would have attempted to do this without a local captain, it would have been naive and stupid. I don't care if you've got the best radar in the world. The knowledge and the communication that he has with everything that's going on is key to the success here. Everything is beautiful and seems super easy, but I'm telling you right now, you can find yourself in a life-threatening situation like that. So it's very smart to pay attention. The fog keeps going and coming. And I mean, at times, like right now, it's so thick. He's on the radio watching the sharp water and I'm paying super close attention to the boat in front of me. What I'm really watching are the boat wakes. The distance of the boat wakes tells me how far I am from the boat in front of me. So if you guys want to come out here, this is an amazing fishery. His contact will be in the description below. You'd be silly not to call him. here all the time. He's fishing with a 50 wide with 100 pound fluorocarbon. I'm going with a little bit of a, a, a more sporting rig. This is 80 pound pink anti fluorocarbon with a 6 aught quadruple strength circle hook and a Talic 25. He's got a fish on right there. Yep. That's a good sign. And then just let her pull. I mean, I just got smoked again. Here's our jig. I just got cut off about five times in a row. 
So I'm gonna drop this jig down, see if I can't catch a bonita, blackfin tuna, king mackerel, something like that. We'll chunk him up. What you got, Jordy? I don't know. Were you on the bottom? No. I probably stopped like three quarters of the way down. That's oh, kingfish. See him shaking his head. What if it's a big wahoo? Then we eat them. <laughs> so the name of the game is catch fish. As soon as we catch it, it could be anything. A bonita, He's king right. mackerel, blackfin tuna, you name it. He's not far. King oh, king mackerel. Mako, 20 he, feet from the boat. He ate it like a great white. <laughs> Holy smokes! <laughs> Please tell me you got okay. that. Oh boy! <laughs> uh, that was worth everything right there, man. <laughs> Holy cow! That just happened. <laughs> Little toony, whatever you want to call them. That is bait. Good to go. What you think? The right guy, the toony. The toony. All right, boys. Oh, Captain. Something. Captain Brendan's tight. So we've caught a bonita, a kingfish that got devoured by a mako shark, and now, what do we have here? I gotta find out pretty soon. What's your guess? If I had to guess. Now it's a tuna fish. No, it's a jack. Amber jack. Oh, amber jack. There we go. Bring him right over here. Oh, nice fish. See that? That's what these circle hooks are known for, hooking them right in the corner of the jaw. It's not amber jack season right now, is it? No, it is not. So uh, we'll take him and turn him loose. Can't get a bite while we're trolling to the new spot. There we go, son. Big head shakes as if it's a Wahoo. Hey, this seems like a good spot. Now, as we get closer to this fish, we're going to bump the boat into gear. My guess, 30 pound Wahoo. Might be a kingfish, but it sure has a lot of vicious head shakes like a, like a Wahoo. Oh, it was... Crazy head shakes. These Talica 25s are great for this. They have really fast, smooth, high speed retrieve. It's fighting more like a kingfish now. I've only got 50 pound mono leader, but 
you know, whatever. Got a big plug. What do we have? It's, it's bow hooked. That explains. Get the gaff. There you go. Hey, anybody can hook them in the mouth. <laughs> in the tail. There you go. First thing you want to do with a fish like that is get the hook out of him because he can sling that, that treble hook around and jack it into your leg and that would be a big problem. 20 pound kingfish in the box. There you go. What you think? I think, a, I think a piece of kingfish would be the perfect bait right now. So I got me a fresh piece of kingfish on. The fog is all lifting, burning off. Sun's coming out and it's getting hot. It was chilly earlier, it's hot now. Oh, oh, oh heck. Here we go. Uh, Feels like the old king macaroni. Little black thing. That's a pretty legit little run. Oh! Oh, never mind. I just saw him shine down there and was like. There we go. There's, there is a, there is a shark under him. The shark just ate the, the snapper. Holy mackerel, bro. That's going to the hill. Holy smokes. Because the shark ate him, can we keep the head? Are you kidding me? The terrible thing about this, that's a, a legit 20 pound genuine red snapper. Shark ate, him, ate the back of him, but it's still illegal for us to take him. I mean, I think that's a crying shame, but it is what it is. Kiss him and let him go. See you, buddy. May the sharks be with you. That is just, that's, isn't that terrible? There should be some sort of. Look at this hammerhead right here. Here's two hammerheads. There's three hammerheads. Good lord, boys. We're gonna have to find somewhere new to fish. I think it's a shark. That's a yellow for the name, gonna be screaming like that over it. That's a good fish. They, oh my gosh. Oh boy. So. Oh, we just got bit right there. Gosh. Feels like I got a blue runner on here. I got a beeliner, dude. Look at that. On the flat line in 220 feet of water, I catch a giant vermilion snapper. These are in season, aren't they? That right there is going to be lunch or dinner. Let me throw him on ice. There's all these amazing boats out here. You hear people hooking up. You see people fighting fish. There's a boat over here. These guys are just having a blast battling this giant yellowfin tuna. And uh, I got to get another bait on because I'm next. Oh, that's a, such a good fish. Holy smokes. Yeah. No! <laughs> that's awesome. There's just something beautiful about that. The whole world's in a terrible lockdown due to coronavirus. These guys are out here just banging on them. What an awesome day. Just got bit. Not sure what it is though. Not what I'm, not, I'm after a monster. So we'll see what happens. These Talica 25s are great. You can throw them in low gear, push the drag forward, and really apply the heat. Here we go, here he comes. What do we have? Gigantic red snapper. 
Are you kidding me? Goodness gracious. Look at that. What a fish, man. Unreal. Awesome fish. Beautiful fish. Down to the bottom. This is what it's all about, man. We got a fish on in the back. These fellas just caught a world-class, beautiful yellowfin. I'm having the time of my life. <laughs> the whole bottom. You see the gears? You see the gears? We have one person reeling one person. Yeah, boys. Yeah. That's awesome, man. Hey. Did you you video, did you see us gaff him and yeah. you fall back in the water? I was filming had him on gaff. Did you see us almost have him in the boat and he fell back in? Yes. And fought for another 20 minutes? That's awesome, all guys. That mountain right there broke on us. Hey man, that's hey, what dude. it's all about. Man, when the fish is in the boat, he's gonna hey. the boat, eh? Dude, Let me get an sand. email from you. Just hooked up on a really nice fish right here, guys. Definitely a tuna fish. Okay, we're scoping, hey, we're scoping out a good ways this way. Yeah, no, this is a tuna fish, I can tell you right now. Hey, Jordy, yeah. I'm gonna need my belt. The harness? Yeah. Don't do the two He's under both of these boats, we're gonna have to go around him. He's under both of you guys. Okay. Of course, we got him on the tack 25. Super light tackle, big fish. We're gonna go to low gear. There you go. Now you can really, if, if you feel like you're really winching, you're doing something wrong. It's definitely him. Yeah. Old Mr. Yellowfin just decided, that's it. I'm going to the house. If you look at the tip of the rod, you can see that, that pump, that's telltale sign. There's a trick. If you can keep your shoulders behind your hips, it becomes much more easy. Whenever your shoulders are out in front of your hips, much, much, much harder. Okay. He's angling unders here. Just one crank, one crank. Fish is wanting to sit right in the shadow of the boat here. Thank you. Keep your shoulders well back when you can. You want to keep the bend in the rod and just gain a crank. Yeah, he's not far. Bro, I, it was a shark. Something, something came in and hit him twice. Yeah. There it is. See the shark? I knew it was a shark down there. Hit the, line. the shark hit the line. I felt him do that. Dad, gum it. Well, you guys. Mm, nice fish, had them where we wanted them, 75 feet beneath the boat. I felt the fish, I felt the shark run into the line twice and just parted it. Dang! Hey, 
We had our shot, man. Let's go catch another one. Gotta get another one over what a absolute bummer that was but you know what we still had so much more fishing to do that day and we fished two more days so i promise you guys this video is already really really long and we have so much more stuff to do as you can tell jordy's driving Austin sleeping the boat is behind us and we're headed home they are shutting down Florida to Louisiana, so we had to get the heck out of Dodge and head home. But um, if you're enjoying this, let me know. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what, you, what else you wanna see. We're getting ready to go into some self-quarantine out on the ranch for about 14 days, and I've got lots of cool stuff headed your way. But that's all I've got for this video. There will be more tomorrow, but for now, take care, God bless, and we gone.